The notorious hacking group Anonymous has declared war on Russia and is targeting Russian websites. The group that has also targeted U.S. sites in the past now says Putin's regime is fair game. Joining us now, NBC News correspondent Tom Costello. Tom, what more can you tell us? Well, you know, for years, the U.S. has accused the Russian government of cyber attacks, sometimes working alongside Russian cyber criminals. But now Russia is in the crosshairs. And before you celebrate, think about how quickly this could snowball into an all-out global cyber war. This is a message to Vladimir Putin from Anonymous. The group calls itself Anonymous. Unaffiliated hackers around the world now putting Russia in the crosshairs. Members of Anonymous have declared cyber war against your aggressive regime. They claim they've already targeted more than 1,500 Russian websites, including Kremlin-controlled news agencies, the Ministry of Defense and Space Agency, Russian oil companies, Internet providers, even TV channels. Their call uh, to fight in the cyberspace has resulted in a lot of websites not being available, some websites going down, and a lot of records, uh, you know, Russian government, Russian military records being dumped out under the Internet. U.S. officials confirm they've seen evidence of the anonymous hacks after Russia launched a cyber and ground offensive against Ukraine. But the real risk to Russia long term is the canceling of their access to Internet infrastructure as private sector companies decide that they're going to delist or no longer carry their traffic. Cutting off Russia from the world would also deprive everyday Russians of access to outside news and information. And cyber pros worry Russia may view the anonymous hacks as Western attacks and target U.S. government and company sites. U.S. Cybersecurity Director Jen Easterly. How at risk is, this, is the average American or that very small business owner? Everybody's at risk, which is why at the end of the day, they need to take the steps to protect their systems, their networks, and their data. This can happen to anyone. There is no one that is immune from potentially getting hacked. The cybersecurity basics never click on suspicious emails or links, use complicated passwords, and multi-step authentication. Back up your computers and keep security software up to date. This basically ensures that he can log in even when the password is changed. Israeli firm CyberBit uses real-world attacks to train American companies to defend themselves. The questions organizations need to ask themselves is not if they are going to be hit, but when they are going to be hit. As for Anonymous now targeting Russia, we are anonymous. We are legion. Expect us. Russia has always been perceived as the cyber attacker, and now they're on the receiving end. Instead of always being on offense, they also got to be on defense, and that really lowers their capability in some ways to also do attacks. Yeah, that's the concern here. The cyber battlefield seems to be expanding by the day. You know, we've already seen U.S. oil pipelines, food supplies, hospitals, banks attacked in recent years. Experts say they could be targeted again, but also electric grids, dams, water systems. Everything is a potential target right now. By the way, the U.S. Cybersecurity Agency, if you're a small business or just a typical American family, they have great resources online how to protect yourself. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.